Hello friends, hi, my name is Vicky and if you don't know, I am an AFS volunteer, but I guess you can say that. And I am right now in Hungary, I am from Poland and I think that's all the most important information you missed about me. But anyway, today's video is gonna be about why is hosting an amazing opportunity? And I'm gonna give you a few really, really important examples that you should consider and I hope that will change your mind about hosting, so let's get to it. First of all, you can have new siblings. Um, I don't know, you, you've always wanted to have a sister or brother without crying baby. <laughs> that's that's perfect opportunity for you right now. And for parents, if you want to maybe experience having a kid from other country than your own, or you just want to have someone new in a family, that's the way to do it. Second, you can train your English or, for example, other language. Um, because obviously at first, most probably the exchange student will not speak your language. Of course, depends on which country you're from and all. But uh, I, I think that thirst sentences and thirst conversations you will have in English. Or if you, for example, learn Italian and you're going to host somebody from Italy, this is also a really good opportunity to maybe practice your Italian or any other language that you're learning. Number three, you can share your culture and also you can be cultural ambassador. Which means that you can um, maybe show them your favorite places or introduce them to your friends or cook with them traditional meals and, I don't know, feed them with as much food as you want. And also somehow you can probably educate yourself because maybe you didn't know about something before and now you want to tell them and you want to educate them about that. That's a reason to go as well. Number four, welcome the world in your house. It's not only about giving an example how your culture can look like, but obviously you get a new culture or person from new culture from other country in your own house. So it's obviously something that will change your way of thinking somehow. And come on, have the world in your house. You don't have to you don't have to host only ones. You can host somebody from Turkey, from Indonesia, from Italy, from America, uh, South America, like whatever. There is so many possibilities and so many people for you to meet. Number five, and about that new culture, you can also have a new staff from another culture in your house which sometimes might be surprising for you. And you can see the differences between even the smallest things that you, you're using every day and you're paying and you're not even paying attention to anymore. And these can be different to that person. Number six, like I said, new kind of thinking, but also new kind of doing things. And for example, cooking or eating some food from the country that your exchange student is from. And I think it's always worth it to try new things. So eating a dish done by someone from their country can be a really interesting experience. Maybe not if they're really bad at cooking, but I think you understood what I meant. Number seven, it makes you more open-minded. And like I said, it changes some things, but also you learn how to accept some things that you weren't seeing before and, and maybe that your way of thinking could be different about them. And also, you have to be prepared that obviously not everyone has the same opinion, especially when someone is, for example, from another continent, then now just imagine how different can it be and how many cool stuff you can learn. And please never say never to new things that you can learn because being open-minded and respectful is really, really important here. And the last one, but not the least, you have someone that you can visit abroad. For example, just because I have a lot of friends from other countries, my fellow exchange students and all, I have so many friends that I can visit, but I don't have money and that kind of costs a lot. The first moment that is going to be possible for my family to come to visit me, I will definitely invite them. Having friends in the place you want to visit? This is like a treasure. So I hope those eight things helped you and now you just decided that, oh my god, this girl is right, I want to host someone. This has to be such an awesome opportunity. Well, if you thought so, then you are right. And I did a good job. 
But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I, I, I really hope you did. And I hope it helped you. In case you have any questions, you can email us, you can text us, uh, you can find us on social media. So you can always write to us with literally any, any kind of questions you have. And I hope you will have or you had an amazing day. Take care of yourself, stay hydrated, stay healthy, eat vegetables. I don't know why am I saying about vegetables, but till the next one. Bye. My hair looks like... Um... <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> and also for parents, you can have a new kid. And I, I, I mean, you can always have a new kid.